Hi everybody, today I'm going to put together a quick video showing you how you can use the Blender software to encode videos. It's a 3D animation software, I believe you use it to make models, do 3D animations, but it has a built-in uh, sequence editor and uh, you have to do a few things to get to the sequence editor and then to use it to encode a video. The example I'm going to be go going through today is that I have a a video that I took on my phone. That's 1080p and 18 megabytes. I just filmed it, me opening something on my desk. Uh, so my plan is to take that to 720p and a much smaller file using Blender. And you could use this same process for uh, encoding videos for whatever purpose. So this is a default uh, install of Blender. I've deleted my use the settings file, so if you just install Blender you should see a very similar screen to this. So after we dismiss the splash screen, we're in a 3D mode. So up the top here, uh, we want to switch to the video editing. And now we're in the video editing mode, there's a sequencer down here. Uh, the one change we have to make is go to here and go to properties. Now this is uh, where we do most of our work. So once we're here, uh, we can just drag and drop our file in. Um, now it's start frame is one. Sometimes if you if you click somewhere and then drag and drop a file in, it's going to put it put the uh, the file starting at that point. But you want to um, m you'd want to move it to frame number one. So we got lucky that time, and it's in the right place. Now the length of it is only two hundred. So down here is the final frame of the playback rendering range. So we want to set that to 200. So you'll see it move the rendering up to here. So what we're going to do up here now is the percentage scale for render resolution. I'm not sure why it's at 50, but I'm just going to put it at 100% because that makes sense to me. So my aim was to turn this into a 720p video. So resolution is 1280 by 720 so now we've done that okay we go down here and uh, we're going to set the output directory to the same folder as our source file so I'll do that now I'm going to come down here and change it from a PNG output to an FFmpeg video now, if you don't have that option, I think it comes with Blender, but you'd have to go and look at other video tutorials on how to install that. So I'm going to drop the encoding section here. Uh, the container is the file type. That's my understanding. So MPEG-4. Output quality. They have these different types of qualities here, they're just like general categories and yeah, they use different bit rates from what I understand, but I believe the bit rate varies. So for example, we could use a constant bit rate and then this is the bit rate in kilobits per second. So let's just choose 2000. For the audio codec, I'm going to choose MP3 and 128. So that is all we need to do. Now we can render this. So up here, go to render animation and it's going to start rendering. Now keep in mind that Blender only uses one CPU core. So if you have a decent PC, it will only use one core despite it having maybe eight cores, 16 cores or whatever. To use the other cores, um, you can use some other pieces of uh, software that people have written that will split a Blender project file up into say eight segments for an eight core PC and it will render them simultaneously. But I will show you how to do that in another video, but just for this one, I'm sticking with one core rendering. So when it comes to uh, longer video files, you may want to consider that because it, it might take a very long time to do the rendering. So if we go into our folder now, you can see there's a file here and the quality is a bit different. It's a bit lower, but 
uh, we've gone from 18 megabytes to just under two. So I think I think the video quality of that that second file is probably perfectly fine to upload to YouTube. Uh, but really, that just gives you an idea of how to use Blender to uh, encode files, setting the bit rates, and you can use uh, the sequence editor to add additional files and do all the other sorts of things that the video sequence editor can do. But yeah, hopefully that has helped some few people out. Um, Blender is a free piece of software, so uh, give it a go and you can use it to uh, encode and videos for things like YouTube.